Hello and welcome to our 2K Sports PGA Tour action. We're at the Golf Club Open. Today's coverage is about to kick off. Please, you could join us for this final round action. G'day everyone, Luke Elvey here with Rich Beam and Rich, this next golfer, as they begin their round, what do you think of their chances? Look, this player starts off the final round a couple behind the lead. And let's face it, they need to have some inspiring golf out there today. They need to make birdies early and often if they want to chase down that leader. It sets up for a very exciting final round. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. And let's see what he can do here today. Not bad. This shot coming from around the 150 yard marker. Back into the win. They need to flight this one down. Going with the seven. That's a little wayward. Not taking enough club to get it there. This would be a great up and down from this spot. How close was that to going down? Looks like a pretty straightforward five footer to me. This one started out on a good line. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Currently one under for the tournament. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. That's some good golf right there. Let's recap Ian Poulter's effort from just a short time ago. Risky little bunker shot, but watch this. Almost. Nicknamed the postman because he always seems to deliver in the Ryder Cup, Rich. Ian Poulter, a great character, a fantastic player, and a fierce, fierce competitor. Ian Poulter has made a career out of demoralizing the Americans in the Ryder Cup, Luke. There's no doubt about that. But let's face it, there's hardly a player out there who gets the most out of his game. He's even acknowledged it. He may not have the most talent, but I can promise you this, there's very few players that are willing to work at it as hard as he is. He will sacrifice an awful lot, albeit no time away from his family. He will sacrifice every minute of the day if he thinks that it will make him a better player tomorrow. He really is a workhorse on the PGA Tour and hats off to him. He's getting his just desserts now with all the success he's had over the last few years. That's well hold. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. And we've arrived at a par three. That approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. This line doesn't look too tough, just in the first cut, right by the green. 
Yeah, they parted this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. Oh, well played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Okay, let's head to the next. Currently one under for the event. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Time for the second shot here at the four. out to the right for sure. Well, a little off the target with that one. Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. And here we are with the third shot. Ooh. Well, that shot took some serious skill. Oh, that was pure silk. Well done. Getting ready to play their third. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. Ooh, nice looking putt. And in it goes for the par. That's a good way to move into the top ten. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Well, that's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? I'm down on the second hole, guys. This is Bryson DeChambeau's next shot. From 27 feet. Oh, what a great stroke. That'll help your scorecard. Well hold. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Not as easy and straightforward as yesterday's par, so work to be done. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Now from that lie, missing the green was always an option. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. Oh, so close. And this next putt, it's for bogey. In she goes. Let's head to the next. And JT is currently our leader. And on the tee now, coming off the bogey. Might have a bit of a sting in the tail, I'd imagine.
Uh, bit untidy, wasn't it? Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, shouldn't have too much trouble getting out of here, fellas. It's ended up in a pretty decent lie, all things considered. And here we are with their four. Certainly makes putting easy if you can chip it that close. Judging it beautifully. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Good looking putt. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard. Now a three shot lead. Let's see what happens here on the seventh. Looks like they've got the five wood. This one's heading left, I think. That's not what they were looking for. Greens and regulation today has been absolutely abysmal, and that is reflective on their scorecard. And a chance for a spot in the top 20 of the leaderboard if you can make this. Right by the hole. Three feet to go here to the hole. Job done. Let's head to the next. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. Sadly, in the sand, but a chance to make up for the error. Oh, oh, that's incredible. And for birdie, too. Oh, a messy little lie in the bunker, but that is not a problem for this player. Yes, in the hole. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. And Justin Thomas currently leads the field. And now on the tee, coming off a bogey. Trying to reclaim some momentum. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Second shot here on the eighth. Going with the five wood. Uh, it's just a tad off line, that one. Headed towards the left. Anything in five feet would be handy from here. Now, that's a mistake. How do you leave that short? Downhill putt, 
And sometimes you think it's going to run out more than it does. Just couldn't quite figure it out this time. Solid power putt that. Justin Thomas has built a three stroke lead over the field. Welcome to this par five hole. Well, I like the look of the line here. It should find the fairway. Second shot here on the ninth. John, give us a small update. Well, I'm down here on the 18th hole. This is Ian Poulter's next one. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Wow. Okay, let's get back to the action. Playing this shot from 120 yards. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Going with the pitching wedge here. Playing their fourth shot. You liked that, didn't you? Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. It's tracking. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Straight down wind, tough to put a lot of spin on it and hold the green. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Left yourself an opportunity. Well, there's uh, action of plenty all over the course. Let's have a look at this highlight from another player. Looking forward to seeing what Tony Finau does here, Rich. Well, that'll take a little anxiety out of the next one. Beautifully judged. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive.
This one looking really good. And down she goes from outside the range. And it's worth taking another look at that one. And that'll drop him down to even par now. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. You've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. It's like that ball had a magnet in it for the bunker. Oh, the fried egg. That's ugly. Any chance of getting out of this bunker? Well, they're in deep here, guys. Really nestled into this sand trap. Let's see what happens. Well, out of the bunker and onto the green, but still a fair bit of effort to go here. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Get in. What a putt to make. Well done. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. Our current leader is up by three shots. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Going with the seven. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. And now we go to the ninth, and this happened a moment ago. The scientist, Bryson DeChambeau, with a fantastic shot. Well, there's a scorecard saver, Rich. That's perfection. This would be a great up and down. Lovely touch. Well played. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. And there it is. Justin Thomas is atop the leaderboard. Now a three-shot lead. off here on the 13th hole. A chance to go under par here if you can just keep the bogeys off the card. Lining up now, this shot from the fairway bunker. Yes, difficult light made a par here yesterday. A little bit more difficult today. Good option. Take your medicine and try and get it up and down from there. 
And here we are with the third shot. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. There's this one to kick right. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 13th. Trying to get to two under with this putt. It's just about three feet away. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. Time for the fifth shot. What is that? That's incredible. Chip in for birdie. That's always a nice feeling. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. That was absolutely murdered. Well, Rich, this looks like a familiar spot for this player. Not their favorite spot, no doubt. Terrible result yesterday. What's in store today? Uh, it's heading to the rough for mine. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Air mailed the green with that approach. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, a nine foot chance here. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And this one is for bogey. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. And that'll move him to even par for the tournament. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. A bit short with that effort. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Well, from the from my viewpoint, at least, looks around 29 feet. Well, what a lovely putt to make. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Let's get back to it, shall we? This would be a great up and down from this spot. Oh, 
Oh, I don't mind this par putt. This one has eyes for the hole. And the putt drops. Now even par, heading down the stretch. Justin Thomas is our current leader. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. Uh, that's a little untidy. Oh, this is not a good outcome. Buried in the deep stuff. Yeah, that's the right option. You should never compound an error with another one. Getting ready to play their third. Lining up from the sand now. Well, this will be a bonus right on 17 feet from here. Okay, steady now. Oh dear, this next putt now for double bogey. Hey, that's a chance. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. And JT is currently our leader. off here on the 17th hole definitely needs to make a move on the field and this is a golden opportunity on the short par four what will they do that's heading for the fairway luke do not buy any lottery tickets tonight you're absolutely wrong where that golf shot ended up And here we are with the third shot. Time now for the fourth shot. Good chance this one, right on six feet. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Unfortunately, a bogey goes on the scorecard there. And let's have a look at Tony Fee now. Second shot here on the 17th hole. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. That's tidy. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Justin Thomas has built a three-stroke lead over the field. Teeing off here at the lucky last, the 18th.
Well, a man on the ground, John McCarthy, would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, they ended up in the deep stuff, but uh, the lie could have been a lot worse. That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? Sitting at three over par. Looks to be going with the five iron. That's just inside the range. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. This part for a final score of 75. Oh, this looks pure. And with that putt, that'll bring his tournament to a close. And let's have another look at that one. Well, Rich, it was great to share these moments with you and all the folks at home. Luke, always a pleasure, my friend. Until next time. Well, on behalf of myself, Luke Elby, and Rich Beam, thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.